Hi guys, today I'm going to discuss why you should never give discounts to your potential new customers. My name is Carl from Buzz Website Design. It's our job to help you reach more potential business. And also, if you like what we do, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We make one of these roughly once a week and you'll get an email to say that we've done it. And if you really, really have something you want to say or you like what we've done, please let us know. It'd be great to read your comments below. So, okay, let's get on with it. Why should you never um, offer discounts to potential new customers? Well, first of all, there's a problem with the word discount. And the word discount is just thrown away. And, and unfortunately, discount has no limit. And I'll, I'll explain what I mean by this in a moment. You offer a discount to somebody now, and there's going to be nothing to stop them asking for a discount next time, because there's no time frame put around it. There's nothing novel, unique, for in the now, in the word discount. And I've seen people over and over again who are almost held to ransom by their clients because they're constantly being feel forced to give away discounts. So what I want you to do is to scrap the word discount from your vocabulary starting right now. And why would I ask you to do that? Well, because it's a dangerous word and you should never use it. So, okay, we've scrapped this D word, the dangerous word, out of your vocabulary, but what are we gonna do with it? How are we gonna replace it? Well, here's what I suggest that you do, is change that D word into something else that's more specific to the now, and less likely to be something that's arbitrary and could go on forever. And so what, what I've done in the past is I typically use special price or special offer or do you a deal price. And the reason why I've done that is simply because a special price literally means it's now. It's special. There's something unique about it. If it's a deal price, I can do you a deal. It doesn't mean I'm going to do you a deal later on. It's just in the now. Now, you might be thinking, well, this is just semantics. But I promise you, this stuff actually works. You offer somebody a D now, and I promise you they will expect it over and over and over again. And if you're desperate to keep that customer, you'll be held to ransom, giving them money off for, for as long as they're with you. And if they're that worried about the price, probably you're not building up enough value in what it is you offer. And maybe you should just potentially, watch my last video, scrap them. Um, the, point of the, the point of it is that you'll want to give something, if you're going to give money off, Make it a deal, make it special, make it unique, make it novel, make it now only. And the reason is because it just gets over that, well, if they do insist on having money off, make it special, make it unique. And it just means that in the mind of the potential buyer, this is a one-time only thing. Now, if they want to do repeat business with you and keep asking, and if you say no, then they want to go somewhere else again. Now just let them, just let them. There's plenty of work out there. If your marketing is good, you will attract and you will bring in good customers to you. But get away from the D word and start using special offer, special price, do you a deal, offer price. I'll tell you what, this time only price, but don't tell anyone, they'll all want it. Um, you, you, however you phrase it, just don't say the D word. Another way of potentially coping it, coping with getting around the D word is to add value. And you could say something along the lines of, I tell you what, we can't give you money off, but we can do this, this and this uh, on top uh, with our compliments uh, if you want to do business with us. And it's, in a service business, it's probably easier than it is in a, um, a product-based business. But I'm sure you could think of something whereby you can give something which has a reasonably good perceived value that doesn't actually cost you a great deal to produce or deliver. And... If you think about it, it just means you're still getting them on board as a, as a customer, uh, but you're doing a special deal. You're adding value rather than giving money off. And to be honest, that will actually improve the perception of you in the mind of your buyer because you were willing to work with them. Yes, they've not had the D that they asked for, but you've been able to offer them something which makes the deal a lot, lot more attractive for the money. So I really, really hope that's been useful. And if you do like what we do, like I said, subscribe to the channel, write us a comment below. Um, but most of all, go out there, forget that D word from your vocabulary, start giving special prices, offer prices, promotion prices, deal only, now only, just for you price, whatever it is you call it, and start adding value. I promise you it will improve your bottom line going forward and it will make you so much happier because you're not having to deal with people who just want to buy on price. So I hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching. And bye for now.